Okay, so hopefully this will work. Like, I didn't notice, but it said, like, it had lost connection with my mic and the audio from the website. But the Georgia Guidestones were under attack early this morning. Uh, so I'll get into that right now. I've always thought these Guidestones were strange. But let me share this article. So, Georgia Guidestones explosion. Police are investigating an incident at the monument. There is an explosion targeting the Georgia Guidestones monument. <clears throat> an explosion happened at the Georgia Guidestones and various law enforcement agencies and a bomb squad attended the call. The Georgia Guidestones locate at Highway 77 in Elbert County. Multiple images show the Georgia Guidestones are heavily damaged. Even one of the monoliths looked destroyed. The, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation described the suspects detonate an explosive device at 4 a.m. They destroyed a vast portion of the Georgia Guidestones. Who attended the call? Multiple agencies such as the GBI's Bomb Disposal Unit the Elbert County Sheriff's Office, the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office, the Hall County Sheriff's Office, and the Elbert County Fire Department attended the call and are still present at the scene. The investigation is still in process. The Elbert County Sheriff's Office mentioned that anyone having information about the explosion must call the office. What are the Georgia Guidestones? The Georgia Guidestones are 20-foot monuments engraved in 12 different languages called America's Stonehenge. Now, to interject real quick, um, the actual monoliths, there's only eight. Well, there's four, but each side has a language, so there's eight languages. But um, in the monument, like at the top, there's four other ancient languages, so I think that's where they get the 12 from to go on. They are... Granite monoliths built in 1980 by Robert C. Christian, pseudonym. The executive vice president of the Elberton Granite Association, Chris Kubas, mentioned that the replacement of the Georgia Guidestones could cost hundreds of thousands. What is the Georgia Guidestones writing about? ExploreGeorgia.org illustrates that the message written on the Georgia Guidestones is a 10-part message espousing the conservation of mankind and future generations. However, the message found on the Georgia Guidestones seems controversial to Republicans. I wouldn't necessarily say it's controversial to Republicans. I'd say it's been controversial to pretty much anyone who has any knowledge of these stones, which I'll get into. The stones promoted diversity, social duties, abounds with personal rights, and support a wise reproduction. Be not a cancer on earth, the message reads. For Republican gubernatorial candidate Candace Taylor, the monument is quote unquote satanic. Now, I'm going to get into her because she's been like for months now going on and on about how she's going to do it. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's already like one of the number one suspects. But to get into what they actually are, let me share this. So these are like, this like breaks down what they are if like no one's familiar but um georgia guidestones 10 weird things you've got to know let me be frank first the georgia guidestones are a roadside attraction not a destination in and of themselves since they are a far drive from atlanta i'd recommend stopping to see this quote unquote american stonehenge on your way to watson mill bridge state park or richard b russell state park both are wonderful and not too far from each other. But once you are out 
That way, you must make Georgia Guidestones a priority. Since it was erected, the Georgia Guidestones have been the center of several stories from conspiracy theorists. What do you think? And that's what I was saying, you know, like earlier. Like, I don't think like it has anything to do with politics. I think there's people like on all sides of the political spectrum that find this strange. Yeah, at the top right here, this is what I was speaking about, the uh, additional four languages. But typically called a cross between stone, Stonehenge and the Rosetta Stone, no one knows the exact purpose of the granite monument. They are a little freaky and a lot weird, but there is no denying their artistic prowess. Here are 10 interesting facts that showcase their strangeness. Oh, I guess they edited it to include that. Um, the GBI reported that someone exploded a section of the Guidestones early on July 6, 2022. We are super sad about this. Please note this article was written and photos taken prior to this explosion. That wasn't there like a few minutes ago. But anyway... Multilingual guidelines. A set of 10 guidelines are inscribed on the structure in eight languages, and a shorter message is inscribed at the top of the structure in four ancient language scripts, Babylonian, Classical Greek, Sanskrit, and Egyptian hieroglyph hieroglyphs. The guidelines are meant to be a guidestone to an age of reason, aligned with the stars and earth. The monument stands at the highest point in Elberton, purchased for 5000 USD. The capstone on top is astronomically aligned with the North Star, and there is an additional stone to the west of the structure. On it is inscribed notes and a history of the guide stones. A sundial and a clock. The guide stones also serve as an astronomical calendar, and every day at noon, the sun shines through a seven by eight inch hole in the center stone and illuminates the day's date on an engraving world's finest granite. Robert C. Christian, the man who commissioned the guide stones in June 1979, probably not his real name, came to Elbert County to secure the granite slabs because he believed the quarries here produced the finest stone on the planet. It would be the largest stones quarried in the county. Four of them stand at 16 feet tall and weigh over 20 tons each. The capstone weighs 25,000 pounds. And then, yeah, here's what they looked like prior to this morning. Although they have been, like, vandalized a lot throughout the years. Famous believers. Yoko Ono is a supporter of the inscriptions on the stone, saying the words are a stirring call to rational thinking. The call she refers to are instructions for basic concepts required to rebuild civilization following a nuclear doomsday. Well, that's just one theory, but um, anyway. Of course, others believe it is an occult structure used for pagan rituals. Um, I highly doubt it would be that. Ted Turner could be involved. Many locals around the stones believe Ted Turner built the structure. The rumor here is that Ted Turner built them, jives with a lot of his beliefs, his big money, and his absolutely z zany personality, said one man who preferred to remain anonymous. Not so secure cameras. The land on which the guide stones sit is owned by the county. In 2014, there was about a vandalism on the stones, which led to the placement of two wireless cameras. Reportedly, the cameras were never powered, though. Message from the movies. In 2015, a documentary was released that explains the connection to the Rosicrucians, the Freemasonry, and United Nations. Math facts. While most believe these are instructions for what to do after an apocalypse, some are fearful that the first rule is a call for genocide. Let's do some math. If humanity were to be reduced to only 500 million, it would be destroying over 80% of the world's population. Could the time capsule be the answer? The nearby legend code references a time capsule buried beneath the tablet. The only problem, the fields on the stone reserved for the dates it was buried have never been inscribed. Was the time capsule never buried or were the dates never updated? And then here are the inscriptions. And 
in English, here's what it says. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. And then note, some translations say unite humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature, not maintain. Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with a living new language. Rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world order court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. I guess that's really the only inscription that I would agree with, but... Uh... Balance personal rights with social duties, prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on the earth, leave room for nature, leave room for nature. And then more pictures. But the reason I thought that that one woman might be responsible is the following, which I'll share. Give me a moment. Now, this is from Newsweek. So she tweeted this morning about it, I guess. But um, yeah, back to Candace Taylor, um, a Republican who ran in Georgia's gubernatorial primary against incumbent Bryant Kemp, wrote on Twitter on Wednesday. God is God all by himself. He can do anything he wants to do. That includes striking down satanic guidestones. Taylor used the monument in her campaign fighting to tear it down. In a tweet in May, Taylor wrote, I am the only candidate bold enough to stand up to the Luciferian cabal. Elect me governor of Georgia and I will bring the satanic regime to its knees and demolish the Georgia guidestones. And then she added, join me in my fight to hashtag tear them down. And then another Twitter user posted on Wednesday, reports are saying it was an earthquake, but be not deceived. This is a sign from God intervening on our behalf, down with the globalists and the new world order. One shared drone footage of the monument and wrote, whoever did this, bless you. This is not the first incident in which the monument has been, quote-unquote, attacked. It was vandalized in 2019 when a man carved WWG1WGA, an acronym used to identify QAnon supporters, into a rock. The rocks have also been vandalized with spray paint over the years, as several tweets show pictures of the monument with messages written in red paint across it. The monument was erected in 1980 after a man who went by R.C. Christian proposed a gigantic granite monument inscribed with wisdom for the ages, according to the New Georgia Encyclopedia. To this day, Christian's real name and organization are unknown. He built the Guidestones in Elbert County and said that he hoped other conservation-minded groups in the U.S. would build more. Newsweek reached out to the GBI for comment. And then it was updated at 2.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This story was updated with additional information. So I want to see what this Candace woman, like what all connection she has to it. So I'm going to Google like, and see what comes up. Well, I guess an hour ago, um, she credits God, which we already saw, but I wonder if this goes into any more detail. This is from Fox 5 Atlanta. Former Georgia gubernatorial candidate Candace Taylor credits God for striking down satanic guidestones. Albert County, Georgia, former Georgia gubernatorial candidate Candace Taylor reacted to what law enforcement are calling an explosion at the Georgia Guidestones, which Taylor promised to rid 
the state of during her campaign. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation said an explosive. What is this? Breaking news. Well, that's what I'm breaking. So the Georgia Bureau of Inves Investigation said an explosion damaged a controversial Georgia landmark on Wednesday. The GBI said Wednesday unknown people were responsible for the damage. As of Wednesday afternoon, investigators had not connected Taylor to the criminal investigation of the monument's destruction. Taylor tweeted after news of the alleged explosion broke, calling the Guidestones satanic. Taylor promised to demolish the stones when running for governor, proposing a potential to executive order. She linked them to demonic worship and human sacrifice in a video. Taylor's stance on the Georgia Guidestones caught the eye of last week tonight host John Oliver, who ranted about Taylor's promise. Oh yeah, I guess there's her, her tweet. Where was I? Yeah, Taylor's stance on the Georgia Guidestones caught the eye of last week tonight host John Oliver, who ranted about Taylor's promise to remove the stones. The Georgia Guidestones, a granite attraction in Albert County, are located off of Guidestone Road, just each of Georgia Highway 77. Who is Candace Taylor? Taylor is a GOP activist and educator. Taylor was outspoken against the established Republican candidates David Perdue and incumbent Governor Bryant Kemp. Taylor called for an audit of the audit of the 2020 election. She said she supports gun rights and is pro-life. On her campaign site, Taylor says some of the topics she's passionate about include education and mental health. Taylor lost the GOP primary to Kemp. Then what are the Georgia Guidestones? Well, I already went over that, but we'll see what Fox 5 has to say. The origin of the monument is ambiguous. They were allegedly commissioned by a person under the name R.C. Christian, established in 1980, and have become a roadside attraction for travelers. It's sometimes referred to as America's Stonehenge for its unknown origins and size. The monument is 19 feet high, and each stone block weighs about 42,000 pounds. It serves as a calendar and is inscribed with a 10-part message in eight different languages. They're a celestial calendar. The messages are guidelines to humanity that people have suggested are a cult message. They were meant for a future population after a cataclysmic event, Cuba said. Elberton, colloquially known as the granite capital of the world, the stones were crafted from locally mined granite and built by an Elberton area company. And then, as we said before, like what they say, the English portion of the inscription reads, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity, unite humanity with a living new language, rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts, let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court, avoid petty laws and useless officials, balance personal rights with social duties, prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite, be not a cancer on the earth, leave room for nature, leave room for nature. The Guidestones are the centerpiece of online conspiracies. Former gubernatorial candidate Candace Taylor proposed demolishing the Georgia Guidestones as part of her platform, calling them satanic. Over the years, the Guidestones have been subjected to graffiti and vandalism. But we've never had this level of damage ever done to the Guidestones, Cuba said. So, I guess that's it. What's this? I guess this goes into, um, yeah, I guess it was destroyed like a portion. It was like completely destroyed one of the monuments. Um, 
The GBI said an explosion damaged a controversial Northeast Georgia landmark. The Georgia Guidestones, a granite attraction in Albert County, are located off of Guidestone Road, just east of Georgia Highway 77. Sky Fox flew over the scene and saw one of the pillars reduced to rubble. The top block also appeared to be damaged in the corner that was supported by the demolished block. It's not clear which languages were on the destroyed block. Investigators said unknown people detonated an explosive device at around 4 a.m. Albert County investigators arrived and noticed a large and noted a large portion of the structure was damaged. The Albert County Sheriff's Office is investigating and the GBI bomb squad responded. Albert and Granite Association Executive VP Chris Cubis said there are stationary cameras at the site installed because of the vandalism. He said cameras operate at all time and feedback to a 911 dispatch center. So I guess, you know, if that's true, then they probably do have some suspects. Cubis said that the Elbert and Granite Association has a role in maintaining the Guidestones. He was saddened by the destruction of part of the monument. I'm sad not just for Elberton and Albert County. I'm sad for the United States and the world, Cubis said. These were a tourist attraction, and it was not uncommon for people around the world to be up here at any given time. The monuments, he said, must have been painstakingly crafted, and it took immense effort to manufacture the blocks of stone. To quarry something of that size and get those four out of them pr that precise— with the sandblasting it took to letter those languages, that is utter craftsmanship that you wouldn't find elsewhere else, Cuba said. What are the Georgia Guidestones? We've been through that again, so there's nothing new here. Let me see if there's any, you know, new news on the destruction. But I think, like, the entire thing, you know, is, like, kind of a good thing because, you know, like, apart from any political affiliation or any conspiracy, like, like it said earlier, like, they want to reduce, like, the population by 80% based upon, you know, the maintain humanity under 500 million. Let me see. Um, yeah, pre-dawn explosion. Let's see if there's any videos of it. Is this showing? Oh, that's the one from Newsweek, which, like, wasn't playing for some reason. So let me find a different one. Maybe this one will play, hopefully. Not secure. Oh, well. Oh, I guess it doesn't let me to like proceed. Uh, okay, I think this is like a drone, some drone footage. Advance, proceed. I don't know why Chrome's been doing all of this like extra security, but um, okay, where's the video? Oh, there. 
Dustin John Bryant Ayers captured drone footage of the aftermath of an explosive device detonated at the Georgia Guidestones in Elbert County. Okay, well, can it play? Oh, there it goes. There's no sound. Let me zoom in. Yeah, you can see like the rubble, but like apart from that, like that's like some drone imagery. Isn't it crazy how like it's so close to like the road? Like it really is like just a roadside attraction, you know, like you're just driving along and then, oh, there they are. But like as I was saying, like, I think like whoever was responsible for this, like if they're caught, I'm sure they're probably going to unfortunately face legal repercussions, but. I think it's good that someone actually, after all these years, finally, like, managed to get at least one of them down. I'm curious, though, as it was mentioning, like, so far it hasn't been reported which two languages was were destroyed. Um, I'm not sure if they intended to destroy all or if they just intended to, like, destroy one. But it's really, like, crazy. You know, I just found out about this and, you know, like I was very well aware with these stones. So the fact that they're like being destroyed is kind of entertaining to me. And I'm sure, you know, we will find out who was responsible or maybe we won't. But when I have more news or any more updates on this, like I'll report on them. But with that said, like, I hope everyone has a good day or evening, morning, wherever it is, wherever you're watching. Have a good, um, you know, whatever. All right. Peace.